You put so many hours into it. And then you start giving yourself some reasons why you have to push hard. See, if you have a good enough reason where I think, right, you've woken up at 4 a.m. in the morning for the past month, that's a good enough reason for you to keep going. Mm -hmm. But if you're in that comfort stage where you're like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to maybe work after, I'm going to work out after work, just keep it a little bit, light intensity because I feel tired and you're comfortable. Probably I think seven or eight out of 10 times, you're probably going to have that negative voice in your head that's going to win, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But if you give yourself enough reasons where you're grinding, you see a lot of top athletes in the world, by the way. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk, which is mm -hmm. one of the greatest welterweight. Now, it was too easy for him. He went to heavyweight and he's like absolutely smashing everybody. Mm -hmm. He goes to his training camps and this guy has been doing the same training camp ever since he was young. This guy doesn't have the comfort of his bed. He goes and lives in a farm. He sleeps on hay. You know, he puts himself through so much suffering in order for him to know that he's going out there and he's got all of this, like maybe anger inside of him that he can cool down or use whenever he wants. And that little voice in his head that will tell him, nope, I've suffered a lot and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to just give it 100% because I've worked hard for this, you know. 